here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. And today I have a lesson for you on kind of what goes into creating solos. The first thing is obviously, you know, you have to look at the chords. The chords that you're playing over are so important. That's really what's going to give you the roadmap to what you can use solo and improvisation wise. The key is only a piece of it. And basically the, 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 the rhythm track is in the key of D minor. And it's going from that D minor to the G minor. Um, so, and the chords are moving a little quick, so there's not a little, tons of time on each chord, but enough to where I wanted to kind of target certain notes in those changes to really make a strong solo statement. And hey, if you want to see these scales diagrammed out, over the entire neck. I got a great resource where I could really help you with that. Click on that link in the YouTube description box and I'll send you a free video lesson and a free ebook where I diagram out like 29 scales. I teach all about modal playing, all kinds of stuff on pentatonic scales, major and minor soloing. It's just packed soloing strategy. So, and it's all for free too. Free video lesson, free ebook. Just click on that link. I switched to my neck pickup for this because a lot of times during a solo, I'll do that. I'll be playing off the you know, in this instance, I was playing off the back pickup, the bridge pickup. I'll switch the neck, just to give it a little different sound. And I love the sound of neck pickup. What I did there was I played a G minor seventh arpeggio. And it works nice because it's over the G part of the song, the G minor. And uh, I'll play that arpeggio slow. Basically, it's just a minor seventh, which is a root, flat third, fifth, and flat seventh right, like a minor seventh chord. I'm playing, that's all an arpeggio is, is the notes of a chord played separately. And I started it on the F, and then just repeat it. It's a cool device, I love that arpeggio. It's two notes per string. And notice when I land it, okay, when I get up high, I play this, that's a little G minor triad. And I just pull off, and I stop at the D. Because why, well, guess what, the chords change again, okay? So I wanted to uh, emphasize that D note. So here's the whole thing slow. I'm talking about it now like it's planned out like ever so perfectly, but it really isn't, you know, again, I guess the way, best way I could describe it is, you know, music is more than just, you know, the logical application of scales and modes and theory. There's a human element to it, right? And that's what we want to get across in our solos too, the emotional aspect. That's why we do those melodicism and bending and, you know, we do the vibratos and we, we, we have to add that more organic sense. Otherwise our solos will just sound like a bunch of notes and be real sterile and stiff, right? So it's, it's obviously more than what I'm just showing you here modes and theory and you know arpeggios and minor sevens and stuff i'm just kind of using that for explanation purposes so you know you know what i'm talking about or what i'm doing or the process i'm going through in my crazy head this head is more than just a hat rack my friends but everybody's different and there's lots of different ways to go about it and hey if you got a second please subscribe to the channel you know subscribing to the channel that really helps us to keep the content coming put a comment in the comment box below let us know what type of lessons you'd like to see in the future and if you like the video give it a thumbs up click the like button that really helps us and we so appreciate it keep in mind the real important things the use of melody repeating your licks varying them throughout the solo right understanding what chords you're playing on top of right and um really examining the notes and the chords and studying the relationship between chords and scales and that will really help you along in your guitar journey
I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope it helps you along in your guitar journey. Have fun with it. Uh, remember, if you get a chance, please subscribe to the channel and get that ebook and free video lesson. Just click on that link below. Stay tuned for more videos, more content. Got lots more stuff coming. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Rock on. <laughs>